Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and audience that attend uh, the conference today. My name is Maradi Serai, a lecturer from Swahiri University, Cambodia. I would like to present my uh, research paper about farm fish market in Swahiri town, Swahiri province of Cambodia. The fishery sector has long played an important role for the Cambodian people. Fish farming is an important part of the rice and fruit crops. Raising fish provides many benefits to the household family. Due to climate change, fish as a natural resource in streams, lakes, rivers, and streams is declining and unable to supply enough people in all seasons. Therefore, in Swahili province, there are also a large number of fish sellers and the sale of fish has helped some farmers reduce their living expenses. The study aims to understand the type and size of fish in Swahili town, to understand the farm fish market chain in Swahili town, and to analyze the economic efficiency of selling farm fish in Swahili town of Swahili province. As the methodology, this study used a survey method. A survey was conducted by selecting 40 samples fish vendors from two markets. First, a Viljun market, and second, Rong online market in the center of Swahili town. Face-to-face -face interviews were used to conduct the studies data collection uh, using a questionnaires and the question answer sessions. The data were analyzed by using descriptive statistics, frequency, and percentage. We move to the result and discussion. First, a period of fish shells. In Cambodia, 61% of the population works as farmers. The result from the survey found that the period of fish sales is separated into four periods. First, less than five years, 10%. Second, between five to 15 years, 60%. Third, between 16 and 20 years, 17.5%. And fourth, over 20 years, 12.5%. Source of fish sold in the market. The result from the survey found that the imported fish and fish purchased from both inside and outside the province accounted for a comparable percentage of the fish that dealers offer in the market. We can see that it, there are 67.5% uh, of imported fish. There are 65% uh, of fish purchased from both inside and outside the province, and there are 10% only of the fish were taken from other sources. So these are the types of fish sold in the market. Uh, we can see that the Jana Striyata uh, uh, is the most popular one of fish type sold in the market followed by the Clarias macrocephalus, uh, Pangasius conchopilus, Pansius gorionotus, Clarias batachus, Reptilapia, Pangasius lanodi, and etc. So you can see uh, in the, the figure, this figure, the types of fish sold in uh, Swarian market. The total amount of fish that vendors buy and sell, fish vendors acquire and sell fish in different quantity depending on the daily demand, and there are less and fewer merchants overall. According to the science price, the number of fish that vendors buy and sell each day is as follows. Under 20 kilo, there is 35%. Between 20 and 50 kilo, 45% and between 50 and 100 kilo, 20%. Fish purchase in quantity by types of fish. So we can see that uh, most of the fish type uh, that uh, the vendor 
purchase the most is Clarias macrocephalus uh, and uh, Jana striata uh, Pangasius controphilus and Pantius gorio lotus and etc. You can see on the figure. The weight of each type of fish sold in the market. So the results show that the weight of each type of fish sold in the market is divided into three parts, including the weight of fish under 500 gram. Uh, we can see that Jana striata is the most popular one, 97.5%. Uh, Second type is the weights between 500 gram and 1 kilo, is still Janna Striyata, 90%. And the third one is the weight over 1 kilo, still Janna Striyata, 32.5%. Fish customer agents. Fish customer agents are, divide, sorry, are individuals or business that act as intermediaries between fish vendors and fish buyers. They may be responsible for finding buyers for fish, negotiating prices, and managing logistics. Before reaching the customer, the fish will pass through various agents such as fish collector, fish processors, wholesalers, retailers, or fish farmers. The results of this study show that 100 of fish were sold to consumers. 75% uh, of fish were sold to the processor and 22.5% were sold to retailers. Quantity of fish sold to each agent per day uh, in kilogram. The results show that 12.5% of less than 20 kilogram of fish weight, 7.5% of 20 to 30 kilogram of fish weight, and 2.5% of 30 to 50 kilogram of fish weight has been sold to retailers. Anyway, 35% of less than 20 kg of fish weight, 52% of 20 to 30 kg of fish weight, and 10% of 30 to 50 kg of fish weight has been sold to consumers. Additionally, 60% of less than 20 kg of fish weight and 17.5% of 20 to 30 kg of fish weight has been sold to processors. The volume of fish sales. The volume of fish sales here refers to the supply of vendors to consumer that is sufficient and appropriate in a timely manner. The results show that the daily demand of a seller, 85% is those who sell enough, 12% are not selling enough, and 3% is more than the needs of customers. The demand of farm fish in the present time, we can see that the current demand of farm fish is not stable because sometimes there is a high demand and sometimes it decreases depending on the actual situation. The results show that the demand situation for farm fish is slightly increasing, 45%, highly increasing, 8%, remaining the same, 35%, and slightly decreasing, 22%. So here is the economic efficiency of selling farm fish in Swearing Town. So you can see uh, table one, the average expenses when they put in both markets. So the amount of expenses is in uh, reals, Cambodian real. So you can see that the total expense per month uh, is between uh, 15 million to 16.5 million reals. About the average income per day, all those selling fish requires a lot of money when those can still earn from 1 million to 1 million point five reals per day from selling fish. This income is dependent on the cost of buying and selling fish. The results show that the average income per day of his vendor is between 1 million and 1.5 million reals equal to 200, uh, 250 US dollars and 375 US dollars. Within a month, the average income of its vendors is between 30 million and 45 million reals. Profit is an important metric for fish selling because it shows how much money this occupation is making after all expenses have been paid. To calculate profit per day, fish vendors need to subtract their total. Their 
total expenses from their total income. The results show that the average profit per day of a spender is between uh, certified uh, thousand and uh, five hundred thousand reals. Within the month, the average profit of a spender is between ten million and fifteen million reals. In conclusion, we can conclude that the activities of selling and consumption of farm fish in the market are very active. Fish vendors sell many types of farm fish such as Clarias macrocephalus, Janastriata, Pangasius conchophilus, Pansius gorinotus, Pangasius lanori, Red tilapia, Clarias batrachus, Anabas testudinus, Jana micropertes, Probabus julini, Pongeoplis, Mistrus bocoti, Macrogathus siamensis, Balagu atu, Hemibagrus, Spilopterus, Pansuatus, and Micronimi, and other types of fish available on the market. To encourage local fish farming, it is advised that relevant institutions examine, modify, and enhance the policies, plans, norms, laws, institutions, and infrastructure of the fishery industry. They should also limit the import of fish from abroad, especially from the neighboring country of Cambodia. Farmers should take advantage of the chance to restart fishing and increase fish growing operation. So these are the recommendations from the study. Thank you very much for your attendance and uh, here are our references. Thank you very, very much for your uh, attention.